Okay, so now we're going to talk about roots. Now it's all fine and dandy that our project works. We have our index page and this is where we can set our content. But the problem is, what if we wanted to go have an about page or something? Usually you'd go to like slash about and we have content there. But we just get this 404 error, quite a nasty looking error actually. In a later video, we'll actually go through making a custom error screen. But for now, I wanted to just show you how routing works. Now, it's quite simple to do with SaltKit. We simply go to our roots folder and add an about file, an about.svelte. If I could spell this correctly. There we go. And now suddenly we have an about page. It, it goes to somewhere. It goes to an empty page. If I change this here, we've created our about svelte file here. Let's say about us. And wow, that works. Let's make some content just saying we like to blog about surf spots. There we go. That's our about page. That's that's all we really need, I think. Seems good. Pretty straightforward. We can do our log between there and slash about. If I try to do slash other, which doesn't exist over here because we don't have a file named other, it's going to go back to that not found error. What if we, let's make a post page because that's where we're going to keep up our like blog posts when we make them eventually. We'll just call this h1 posts and I'll write there posts it's not working oh it's because I called it post not posts see that's a point there I've written posts there and this is called post I'm going to rename this file to be posts and now it works so as you can see pretty straightforward your root here will match what your file name is now let's say we wanted to say post slash new and that would take us to like a new thing this isn't recognized. The way we do this is by updating our folder structure over here. So I'm going to make a new folder and call this posts. And then I'm going to move this post inside here and I'm going to name it index. So now if we go back to posts like this, the index actually still works. And if I wanted to say slash posts slash new, then I could make a file called new and there we go i'm gonna close my other files here and let's just make a another h1 tag say new post and put like an empty input tag in here so now if i said slash posts slash new it works you see we're going slash post slash new which in our roots is just the posts directory inside there there's a new directory now often your posts will have like an ID or a slug. We usually call it a slug. That's when you have like your slug, the name for the URL piece. And if we wanted to do something like that, we can actually dynamically do things like this. We can say slash svelte and inside these square brackets, I'm going to write slug. It could be anything. It could be ID if we wanted it to be, but I'm going to call it slug because that's what it's for. So now it still says uh, posts new. But look at this, we're going to say slug page, because mm. why not? It picks up new because it said slash post slash new. If this was anything else, then it would assume that anything is the slug page. There we go. You see it works. It shows. So the named ones, the specific ones take preference over the dynamic root names. This is pretty great and in general, you know, we, we're going to go into details about how we can access that parameter as well in a later video. But for now, I think it's a good idea to just flesh things up by going back to our header component and actually adding like some navigation. So let's make a nav component. This is just also acts as a div, it's an HTML component or HTML element. And in here we'll have a bunch of links. And let's make the first one go to about. And then we could make the second one go to href equals posts. Like that. We're not actually going to make new posts in this. We're going to do our posts programmatically or not programmatically. Like we're actually going to add them into our project like that because we're not building a whole editing system. We're just 
making a nice easy to update blog site as a coder. Right, so this is gonna be called posts. And if we write that there, we get these two links. I'm gonna make it pretty in a second, but just to test that it works, if we click on about, it goes to slash about. And if we click on posts, it goes to slash posts. Now there's a handy little thing with links, which we should actually put up here as well. But it's called Svelte Kit Prefetch. Now because Svelte Kit does do some server-side rendering, this is just a nice little way that actually like fetches the content up front. So usually I think when you hover over it, or when your browser is just not doing anything, it will go and fetch these pages in the background so that when you move between things, it's much quicker. Like it just feels a lot more instantaneous. I'm actually going to add that to the link in our title as well. Because why not? And then finally, let's make this a little bit prettier. So this nav file is inside our header. So under the H1, I'm going to say nav. And we're going to say display flex. So that didn't do much except push them really close together. Up here, I'm going to add a display flex for this header. There we go. Now they're on the same, the same sort of setup. And uh, I want my h1 to take a full flex space so that those are all the way on that side now which is also great next up i want to align these i want my items to be centered not like topped in the top away corner there so this is going to bring it vertically down when i save and that works which is awesome and finally we'll make some style for our actual a tag which is inside the nav remember we've got nav and then we have a bunch of anchor tags so with this let's make the color it's a color called sienna that's just a cool looking brown color and uh we can make the font weight bold because they're nice little bold links i uh, really don't like the text underline so we're going to take that away so text decoration none let's add some padding in there again i'm doing everything alphabetically just because i find it's easier to read i may sometimes mess that up but there we go, we have some nice padding there. This 0 means no padding above and below, and this 15 means left and right padding. Also, like when you start to add more things, like about posts seems like two different things. I kind of like to have a little bit of a border in there. So I'm going to say border right. We're going to give it 3 pixels. It's going to be solid, and it's going to be the same color as the other stuff. So there we go. We have borders on the right, but we don't want one for the last child. So we can go in here, add this little decorator and say last child. And we'll say border right none. There we go. Took away that final border. Now, finally, I'd like to have some hovering going on. Because I wanted to change color on hover to make it look more like a link. So I'm going to add a color. So when we're hovering over this link, we're going to change the color to salmon which is like a lighter reddish color. So now if I hover over, it goes to different colors. But it goes so instantly, I want it to be more of a transition. So I can add a transition field. Transition, and we'll just take 0.2 seconds. I think that's a good quick one. So if we go, there we go. It looks like it fades more in and out now, which is quite cool. Anyways, in the next video, I'm going to show you a cool little trick about resetting layouts.